Hey everyone, welcome to Ali Tech TV Gaming Time, and today we're going to talk about some stuff. But first, here's the intro. So Star Wars Battlefront 2 was meant to have their roadmap released today as of it got previously stated during the EA Play announcement, I mean after it, that it would be, the roadmap would be um, coming to us at the end of June, but unfortunately now that's not actually going to be happening anymore. As of Friday, um, Ben Rock, the community manager, has said that it's out of our hands and they're just waiting as much as we are. So that actually sucks because the Chrome Wars content is supposed to be coming this summer, so the summer months are between July to September, but considering something's already coming in July, I'm assuming August to September. Many people have been thinking, hey, it's coming in the fall, but I'm still going by what the announcement said, because, I don't know, I'm just going what they said with that. So it is sad, it is, um, that we won't be getting any roadmap for June, but I'm hoping we will get at least something on it. And if it does come, it has been previously stated, or maybe changed, that there will be no challenges on the roadmap when it eventually comes. Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy is now out on multi-platforms with a new level called Future Tees. If you want to go and play that, you can. Um, Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy is now on Xbox One, Switch, PC, and from last year, PlayStation 4. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order has been put on hold as an Uncharted 4 uh, person has left, so it is a shame that there's a possibility that now this could lead to that, hey, this game may not get released in 2019 for December. And finally, something I just want to touch on, Life is Strange 2 is now on pre-orders for on Steam, the Xbox One Store, and also the PlayStation 4. Um, but, here's the problem, it's not on Amazon yet. So, until it goes on Amazon, I probably won't be playing it or pre-ordering it just yet, but we're just going to have to wait and see how things change. Maybe in August, they may feel like, yeah, it will be coming to Amazon because that's the main place for it. Please don't do what Before the Storm did, because that was nightmare that was. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and yeah, um, this I am disappointed with Battlefront 2 at the moment, but I'm hoping they can make it all right soon. Anyway, peace guys, see ya.